Hi everyone, I'm going to do a video. Um, just checking on some of my snakes and I just noticed something that was quite interesting. Um, this is something to prove that something that I believe in that um, when it comes down to breeding ball pythons, a lot of the time it comes down to maturity rather than weight. And if they were in the wild, they wouldn't go around with weighing scales, weighing themselves. Oh, I can't, um, I can't sort of get with a male because I'm not 1600 grams. What we as breeders do is we have guidelines. So myself personally, I won't breed anything under 1600 grams, anything under two years of age. Females, this is, <clears throat> okay. You've got to think in the wild, they'd be going through the cycles themselves so they'd have no one weighing themselves they'd have no one checking the health they just go through the cycle so what I just want to show you is something uh, that I noticed um, two more females um, the firefly she's a CB13 and uh, one of my pastel females is also a CB13 now these pair eat like it's going out of fashion. They were like dustbins, okay? And just recently, they've stopped. And what I've noticed, as you'll see, they've started cooling themselves down. Now this female is round about 1100 grams, okay? She ate every week and she'd eat twice a week. She was like a dustbin. But maturity she feels she's mature enough now if she was in the wild to start breeding okay so this is something i have observed it is something that i've noticed among some of my females um and it's just something that i thought was pretty interesting i thought i'd share and show you guys okay so in the wild they wouldn't go around with weighing scales weighing themselves so when you get a, a ball python that's a bit picky eater and people think, oh, you know, my ball python stopped eating and this, that and the other, but it's not a breeding size, well, sometimes that's simply because they feel mature enough and they will try to develop follicles. Obviously in the wild, if they got with a male and they mated, nothing would probably happen. They'd probably reabsorb the follicles and move on, but they still go through the cycle okay so if you have a female that reaches let's say two years of age and is about a thousand grams and she goes off food and she starts cool seeking just bear that in mind maybe maybe she's actually going through her breeding cycle I'll just show you again the firefly <coughs> As you can see, she's just cooling her follicles down. Again, she's about 1100 grams she'd eat every week without fail. It's just something that I've noticed with some of my younger females or smaller females. That when they get two years of age, they tend to stop feeding, um, whether they're at 1600 grams or not, but they will try and develop follicles. I've got two other females that are um, 2013 cinnamon for example <clears throat> now she hasn't stopped feeding so she's not interested in breeding she's not interested in growing the follicles she's just interested in food fine great perfect the same with this pastel female Again, 2013. As you can see, not interested at all in calling her follicles or breeding. She's just pure feeding mode. So I just wanted to share that with you. That's just my personal take of why sometimes ball pythons will stop feeding. And you need to be reading your ball pythons need to be understanding why why they're doing what they're doing um, and you know understand the, the, the natural cycle 
out in the wild, try and get inside the mind of the ball python, and you should start to understand why they aren't doing or meant to be doing what, what it is. Okay, hope you're all having a good season. Everyone take care.